Welcome to Radio Magnapina, a place to discuss the latest research and discoveries from the deep ocean. I am your host, LRJ. Today's topics, the confirmation of a new species of giant isopod discovered in Indonesian waters, and the revival of dinosaur-era bacteria found in the Pacific Ocean. During the 2018 South Java Deep Sea Biodiversity Expedition off the southern coast of Indonesia, a team of scientists from Singapore discovered large specimens of giant isopods in previously unexplored waters of the Indian Ocean. The specimens were found in waters between 950 and 1260 meters, or 3,117 to 4,134 feet deep. After two long years of research, the scientists who originally discovered the isopod specimens have confirmed that they are in fact a new species previously unknown to science and have given them the name Bathynomus rexasa. In explaining the etymology of the species' name, the scientists wrote, The epithet is the Indonesian word rexasa, for giant, alluding to its enormous size and to the significance of the find. The rexasa is currently believed to grow up to 50 centimeters or 1.6 feet long, making it the second largest isopod known to science, only behind the western Atlantic Ocean's Bathynomus giganteus, which has been alleged to grow up to 70 centimeters long. Like other species of giant isopods, the rexasa is subject to abyssal gigantism, which is the biological tendency for deep ocean life to grow to extremely massive sizes compared to their smaller counterparts from shallower waters. Examples of other sea creatures subject to abyssal gigantism include the Japanese spider crab, the oarfish, and the colossal squid. During the 2018 expedition, the creatures found included a wide variety of sea life, including crustaceans, worms, mollusks, and jellyfish. Of these 12,000 specimens, there were an estimated 800 species, 12 of which were unidentifiable. The isopod specimens collected by the science team were just several of the estimated 12,000 specimens taken in during the 2018 expedition. Of all the world's known species, Rexasa was the 20th giant isopod to be discovered. After over 100 million years of dormancy, microbes extracted from deep sea sediments have been revived. The amazing discovery comes from the Joids Resolution, or JR, research vessel, which is one of the drilling ships used by the International Ocean Discovery Program. The JR team collected the sediments when exploring the South Pacific Geyer off the coast of Australia, which is often thought of as an ocean desert. At a depth of around only 74.5 meters, or 250 feet, the team collected clay samples deposited between 13 and 102 million years ago. Once inside the lab environment, the microbes were stimulated with nutrients such as nitrogen and carbon. Up to 557 days later, the sediment samples were placed in water and dissolved as the researchers looked for living cells. Much to the surprise of the researchers, the microbes began to multiply and up to 99% of those found were revived. University of Rhode Island oceanographer Stephen DeHaunt commented on the findings. The most exciting part of this study is that it basically shows that there is no limit to life in the old sediments of Earth's oceans. Another aspect of the microbes revival that has captured the attention of the scientific community is the potential implications this has on life in outer space, given that the microbes were seemingly able to hibernate for a hundred million years in a near lifeless ocean desert. In the aftermath of the microbes revival, it has been theorized that the 100 million year old bacteria may be the oldest group of living organisms currently in existence, at least that we know of. That is all for today's segment. Thank you very much for watching, and please do let us know what kinds of topics you'd like to see covered in the future. And never stop asking yourself the fundamental question, what else lurks within the abyss? Until next time.